Hey everybody, welcome to Black Blockchain Consultants. I am Cherie, I'm the founder of the organization. Thank you so much for clicking on the video where we're gonna be talking about becoming a blockchain technical writer even if you have no experience doing technical writing. And this came about just because of a, uh, a webinar that I was listening to a couple of days ago, and I was so inspired by it that I wanted to talk to you about it. You know, we're always introducing you to new opportunities within blockchain. That's what we do within BBC. Our organization has a mission of educating 1 million, peop 1 million Black people in blockchain in terms of the technology itself, as well as the opportunities that are available. We do it from a non-tech point of view. And um, our goal is to help people find blockchain jobs, start blockchain businesses, invest in blockchain projects, whether you're investing time or money in those projects, and ultimately gain wealth from this $3.1 trillion industry. Now, before we get into the technical writing piece, I got one announcement for you, and that is our virtual conference. Our Black Blockchain Virtual Conference is happening on Wednesday, June 12th. We're super excited about it. We're going to have a ton of guests coming. We're in the planning stages of it now. A third of the day is going to be about blockchain basics. So if you're blockchain curious and you want to know about blockchain, again, from a non-technical point of view, in terms of use cases and how it's going to affect different industries and how you can get involved in the blockchain, a third of the day is going to be focused on that. Uh, uh, then the second third of the day is going to be featuring successful blockchain entrepreneurs that are talking about their projects, talking about the teams that they're building. And if you want to get involved in those teams, you know, they will, you know, say, this is what I'm looking for. And again, not everything is about coding. Sometimes they're looking for technical writers, um, salespeople, community managers, things like that. So definitely want you to listen for those. And then the final third of the day is about what's happening across the diaspora, what's happening in Africa, the Caribbean, U.S. communities. And what's most important to me personally is how we can own a piece of the blockchain because we don't want this opportunity to pass us by. So, um, it's going to be Wednesday, June 12th. Please mark your calendar. And we are still accepting nominations for speakers. So if you want to reach out to us, please contact me at info at blackblockchainconsultants.com. Okay, so let's talk about technical writing for blockchain projects or non-blockchain projects, just doing technical writing overall. I want to start off with telling you what the definition of technical writing is. So... A technical writer usually takes a, a technology project and translates it for the masses. So what do we mean by that? Um, it shows use, the technical writers show users how projects work. So uh, for example, let's say you have an app on your phone and uh, the creators of the app want more people to use it. They will hire a technical writer to write the instructions for people who are not technical so that everyone can use it. Um, technical writers prepare instruction manuals, how-to guides, journal articles, and other supporting documents to communicate complex and technical information more easily. So if you are strong with writing, if you are strong with communication, whether you like to do videos or you like to do blogs or things like that, being a writer and being a technical writer has a lot of, um, leaves a lot of options for us. And you know, my business personally is writing business plans for companies that are raising capital while I'm looking at adding some technical writing to some of the skill sets that I have. So this is also a personal uh, thing of mine. Um, so five skills every technical writer needs in order to be successful. Number one is you can't be afraid of technology. You, you do have to embrace it. Doesn't mean you have to know how to code. In fact, it's probably best that you aren't, you know, the geeked out person who knows how to code. I think that the best technical writers are the ones who can ask those dumb questions, but dumb in quotes, that a normal person who doesn't really, really know all sorts of stuff about technology would ask. Now, why is that? Because a lot of times, 
uh, engineers will skip over steps. People who are so ingratiated in the technology will skip over steps that I, as a normal person, would say, hold on, wait a second. I did step one, two, three, and four, but in step three, I got stuck. So there's something I'm still missing. So number one is um, being able to work with the technology and being somewhat technical, not afraid of it, um, is number one. Number two, the ability to write and ability to write clearly. That is essential to being a technical writer. Number three, uh, talent and showing ideas graphically. So not just being able to write uh, paragraphs, but being able to take information and put them into blocks and steps and infographics and things like that. Canva, C-A-N-V-A, canva.com is a great place to start. They have a lot of ways that you can show information graphically, as well as some people uh, will use Microsoft Word or PowerPoint or things like that in order to show that information graphically. Um, number four, patience and problem solving and troubleshooting. You gotta have patience to be a technical writer, working with people to go through the different iterations uh, that's necessary in order to create a complete product. And then number five, your ability to interact with SMEs. SMEs are small and mid-sized enterprises. Um, they're also subject matter experts, so I think it's both. <laughs> uh, I got this list from somebody, but um, your, your ability to talk to those subject matter experts is going to be very, very important uh, to be patient with them, to be able to draw information out of them, uh, to be able to go back and forth with them. That's going to be very, very important in your ability to be a technical writer. Now, what's the pay? What's the money? So people are getting anywhere from $45 to $90 per hour doing technical writing. Some people will choose to do uh, more freelance work. Some people will take on contract work where they'll work for three months, six months, a year with a specific project, and then they'll move on. And then some people choose to be employees, get those health care benefits, other types of benefits, etc. So it really is up to you. I personally live in a more rural area, so this is great for people who don't live in big cities uh, because there are virtual jobs as well. However, my understanding is those virtual jobs are very competitive. So what do you do in order to uh, beat the competition? So I think number one is updating your LinkedIn profile because a lot of LinkedIn recruiters do use, sorry, a lot of recruiters do use LinkedIn in order to find technical writers. This is according to a woman named Kamoy who was talking about this. Number two, she suggested creating a sample project that you can showcase, uh, you know, take uh, she suggested something like she looked at an Apple website versus an, uh, oh, some other type of website, and she did a comparison, and that was her sample project because she started with no experience. So, uh, and now she's, you know, uh, doing very well with technical writing. So you could do the same thing too. You could create a fake blockchain project and then sell yourself as a blockchain technical writer. Number three, I think you got to be confident. You have to know that uh, nobody really knows everything about blockchain and very few people really know everything about, you know, uh, cloud computing and, and those types of things either. So be confident in your skills in terms of I'm a great writer, I'm a great communicator, and I can do this job. Next is create a list of potential recruiters and start talking to them. I suggest that you create a list of 20 to 25 and you talk with them once a month. And if you do that, there's no reason why with time and with the right information that you're giving them that they should, um, that you should not have a technical writing opportunity. Again, this is according to Kamoy, who has been doing uh, technical writing for the past uh, several years. Next is um, network, 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 online and offline, joining different groups, whether they're on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, uh, talking with the right people on Instagram, Twitter, talking with the right people there. You can do all sorts of stuff online. 
but also offline as well. Uh, going to different networking tech networking events. For example, I'm going to Blackest Tech next month in order to network there. Uh, you should be networking at all sorts of technical <clears throat> um, technical spaces. So yeah. So again, just want to give that word to you. If doing some sort of blockchain technical writing, if you're really good at writing and you're thinking, you know, this could be something that I could do and make good money. Definitely, definitely consider it. Again, don't forget our virtual conference happening on Wednesday, June 12th. Please mark your calendar. We have more information coming and uh, our speakers are going to be lined up in the next several weeks. We're super excited. Wednesday, June 12th for the Black Blockchain Virtual Conference, where you will hear about being a blockchain technical writer, all sorts of career opportunities, things that are happening in blockchain across the diaspora, and most importantly, how we can be owners in that. Thanks so much. Have a blessed day.